Hello and welcome to Transforming Your Church, a series of presentations designed for your church board to watch and discuss and see how it might impl be implemented in your church to make your church all that God wants it to be in your community. In this segment, I want to talk about house blessings. In the early church, in the book of Acts, it says that they met not only at the temple, but from house to house. And I think this has been lost in much of society. Some churches have small groups of various kinds. But how do we really get our members meeting from house to house? How can we greatly multiply the impact of a congregation by having a number of the members of the congregation meeting with each other in their homes for Bible study and prayer and missionary work? One simple concept is the house blessing. The house blessing is simply a, a, an event for about 30 to 45 minutes that takes place in a member's home. It's a place where the member will invite their relatives or friends, people in the church, people not in the church, people that they know from work or wherever they can gather interest together for a house blessing at their home. They invite the people and when the people come, there are members from the church that are invited as well. And during the house blessing, perhaps uh, somebody will read for a passage of scripture, perhaps some songs will be sung. The person will tell the, a little bit about their home and family and how they decided to have a house blessing. And then there will be a chance for those who have gathered to give good wishes and blessings to the family who lives there. And then prayers are offered that that home will be a place where Jesus is center and that it'll be a place where the people welcome Jesus into their heart. In this way, house blessings are a way of bonding some of the members of the church with some of the people in the community together. If it goes well, you can launch perhaps a short group or series of Bible studies out of that house blessing. We, um, when we have house blessings, we like to have them as large as possible in an apartment or a house. In one recent house blessing, we had a Muslim family that came in for the house blessing. In another recent one we had, we had a Hindu family that came in for the house blessing. A lot of times neighbors will come. Sometimes people who help build a new house will come. But this is a chance to center in God in a world that by and large has lost God. If you really want to have the house blessing get some extra traction, then what you do is you get some posters. You can find out more at familieshope.org. And a poster like this says, Seventh-day Adventist Families of Hope. And it just says that this family is committing themselves to try to have regular family worship, to be a part of a family group with other families of believers and people who are interested in growing spiritually. That this family wants to do outreach together when they see needs in the community and that this family truly does have the hope of Jesus' soon return. This poster can be put up in a prominent place in the living room or the meeting room. And when the house blessing takes place, this just reminds the family and everybody present what it's all about. Additionally, other resources can be given to the family. Perhaps they can be given a packet of glow tracks so that they can pass them out in their neighborhood. Perhaps each person present might receive a bookmark. If your church is picking a theme every month, then you can give a bookmark to everybody present. You can give a set of the Amazing Facts lessons or quite a few of Lesson 1 so that they can actually begin a Bible study right there in their home. And as these house blessings take place, they can be led by the pastor or by elders or any of you on the church board. And as you do more of them, you get good at it. You know, after you've done something three times, you look like an expert to people who've never done it before. So if you do some of these house blessings, you are beginning to claim different houses throughout your community as lights in each neighborhood. And as this happens, it brings life to your church. So I encourage you as a church board right now to discuss the idea of house blessings and perhaps actually schedule the first two or three in your own homes. And as you do this more and more, you will find the church bonding together and the homes and families get, getting stronger and stronger. In these last days, we need strong families. And the house blessing is a way to help kick that off in many of the families of your congregation. So take a few moments and go for it. Put down some dates and by God's grace, watch what he does.